You dumbs, kid. So my mother keeps telling me. But you are neither bell tower nor Chinese. Am I to assume my honored father is covering his back by sending you in to spring me instead of his harvesters? Wise assumption. Let's get out of here. I don't think so. Last time I checked, Bell Tower had a lot of firepower out there. You may have been able to slip past them with ease, but I'm thinking it's safer in here. No offense, American. None taken. I wasn't crazy about the odds myself, but when I questioned it, I was told to give you this. Well, well. <laughs> Way to go, father. This changes everything. Assuming they reassembled it correctly. You ready to go? Tell me something first. How the hell was Bell Tower able to nab you? Whatever do you mean? Come on, kid. I may not be 100% up on the triads, but I'm betting your dad's not far from becoming a dragon head. I find it highly unlikely that the local authorities could just waltz in and take off with his son. Under normal circumstances, you would be right. But in this case, I'm the one who walks over to them. You volunteered to be kidnapped? Why? Let's just say, my father and I do not share the same love of augmentations. I find them dangerous and not something our family should be putting so much trust in. But father expects me to... How do you say it? Follow in his footprints? So a change of scenery is required. I'm not following you. Tong Si Hong would never willingly allow his only son to leave his side. I needed a way to convince him that I had to leave Hong Sha immediately. So you orchestrated the kidnapping. You're playing with fire, kid. By pitting the triads against Bell Tower, you've put the entire population of Lower Hengsha at risk. That... may be true. But you are here to rescue me, aren't you? So my plan seems to be working this far. Right. And sometimes the more power you think you have, the more quickly it slips from your grasp. I will... try to remember that, American. Are you ready to go now? I'd feel a lot more confident about things if I knew what the device was and exactly what you intend to do with it. You mean they didn't tell you? <laughs> Not surprising, I suppose, given how much Father enjoys his little secrets. I assume you've noticed how his harvesters like to repurpose existing technology? If you mean steal it from other people and sell it to new customers, then yeah, I noticed. Not necessarily a practice I approve of, but not everything gets resold. Sometimes it is taken apart and reassembled into something more useful. A handheld version, for instance, that doesn't need to be implanted in the human body to work. You're still not telling me what that thing is. Easier if I just show you. So, shall we leave? Yeah, but stick close. Your father and I have some unfinished business to take care of, and it all goes to shit if I don't get you back to him in one piece. Don't worry about that. I'll make sure father sticks to his promise. Maybe even get him to throw in a little extra. But as grateful as I am for your assistance, from here on in, it's every man for himself. See you later.
我要求做手术，怎么回事吗？为什么？ So, you have found Zelazny. I cannot stress enough the importance of this task, Mr. Jensen. I found him. Really, Mr. Jensen, you have been able to make him understand reason. Will he turn himself in? Unfortunately, no. I had to take him and his teammates down. It is a sad conclusion, but one that does not come as a surprise. I still believe you did a good thing, Mr. Jensen. Here is a praxis kit. It's all I have. Got the chip. The cellars are out cold. Excellent work. Seems Mr. Darrow was right to trust you. We will send people to take care of the terrorists. Could I see the chip? How about you tell me what's on it first? Blackmail, Mr. Jensen. Don't waste your time. I won't tell you anything. Besides, there are stones better left unturned. Might as well just give me the chip and leave it at that. All right, take it. Trust me, it's better like this anyway. You've done a great job. I thank you on Mr. Darrow's behalf. Even though this was a favor for Mr. Darrow, he believes you should be duly rewarded. Here is a payment in credits. I'm sure Mr. Darrow will wish to congratulate you himself. Expect to hear from him soon. It seems David has a flair for choosing his people, Mr. Jensen. You have done me a great service today. Glad I could help. I just wish I knew what this was all about. You never know, Mr. Jensen. One day, you just might. Talent, Jensen. You ever need a job, you tell me. I'll hook you up. I take it the kid made it back in one piece. He says I owe you a weapon. I always repay my debts with interest. I'll settle for you telling me what you know. Bell Tower keeps two ships in port. They think nobody notices, but I keep an eye. Every couple of days, one of them loads up in the middle of the night and sails out. Heading where? A wise man doesn't ask. I just know the Hayes and Sue pulls out tonight. And where she make port, I bet you find your scientists. That's a whole lot of maybe, Tong. True, but maybe you lucky more times than I can count. Bell Tower runs tight security. How do you expect me to get on their ship? One of my boys will leave a package inside a locker for you in an equipment shed. You find it, we talk, and I tell you what to do next. I'll be waiting with bated breath, I'm sure. Oh. Hey! 
everything you want right here. Come back anytime. <laughs>